So now this is the next part, chapter 4.3. Generate random numbers. Okay. Uh, life is full of random factors, and so is programming. From time to time, random numbers need to be generated to deal with certain situation. For example, we want to, you know, have a random number. Mm. And we can guess that, uh, you know, players to play a game, there is a random number, nobody know that, so we will guess that. Okay, something like that. Or lotters, lotters, something. Uh, we want a mystery number, and everybody can guess whether you guess the number. Okay, so uh, we have to have a range. So you can use the range int. Range int is a function. Okay, it's a function of a random module. So we have to import random module. Then we can use the range int. Range int is a function. Actually, you will give it two parameters a and b here i used int with the different color because random range for random int for integer so rand int means we will provide a random number random integers from a to b yeah including b yeah so we can obtain a positive integer between a and b especially including a and b and i will introduce you another also it is a random function we call it range range see i use a different color to remind you range range not include the b yeah so if we use it we will create the random numbers between a yeah including a but till b minus one so we're not including b is a different so have to make sure whether you use the rent int or rent range range will not cover b this part so it is equivalent to the rent int a comma b minus one so if i use the rent range zero to ten it will equal we use the rent int from zero to nine these are two these two functions are the same because the range will not include 10 with minus one okay okay next part so this is a uh, practice sample programming 4.1 we will generate two number number one yeah from zero to nine number two from zero to nine and of course we have to import random we have to write it first otherwise we can use it so all the functions all the modules we use have to import first then we will use it and this is a special part i want to introduce you especially remember we you know we withdraw the chapter three because we just extract important concepts here so here this part i will remind you evl input what is this part number one right but why i use the str str is a function to transfer the number into string why because in input function this equ equation this you know quotations yeah will just put in the in the string for hint read the user remind the user so it have to be string but you don't really want to print the number one. Yeah, the number one. We want to, it could be a random words, random words from the rand int or, you know, the function. So, for example, maybe I get the number one, just like five here this time. So I want it transferred into five, not really number one. So how can the string connect string? First, I will transfer this variable into string and with the plus sign with the plus we can connect the string with another string okay and this you will see oh it's weird why will there are a lot of plus because this is a string this is another string number one plus number two so 
this will be the real plus. Yeah, we print it real plus. And these two signal just connect the string together. So I want to make it connect to this and this. I have to make it together. Okay. And this is a continuous symbol, I told you. So continuous symbol means this part will connect to this part. So I will do the practice for you. Okay. So first of all, we will use the import. Import random. Yeah. So we will have number one. I just type num n one. Okay. N one will not given by the user. We will get it from the random int. Nine uh, zero to nine. Yeah. Okay. And the other one, n2, rend int from zero, comma, nine. Okay. But when we use the random module, you have to put the random here, dot rend int. Yeah. Rend, rend, dot rend int. Then you can use it. Okay. We just practice and check whether it is could you know have the random number put it print it yeah number five yeah now it's six and four but your value will di totally different because random every time is totally different right so now we know we can make the random number correctly then we want to ask the user okay so the uh, the user will put some answer yeah and we will use the evl and x the user what is n1 plus n2 equal yeah actually yeah we can make a like comment here because I don't want to show it. I just want the user to, you know, have the answer. Yeah. So do it. So you will show really n1 plus n2, but actually I want it to change just like the random int in random int number. Yeah. From here. So we have to change it. Just like what I say, we have to cut this part. This is a string, right? I want n1 into string str why we have to do that because it is input not print print you can use the comma and different type you can sometimes you can use the value sometimes you can use the string but in input you have to be all the string so this is string this is string i have the plus to connect it okay now this is another string right str yeah parent parenthesis n2 and we use the plus but this is a really plus i want to print so this string have the plus connect what is also we need another plus to connect the plus yeah and we plus another string n2 and connect this is a really string because i want it print the same the same string here but i want it to be variable variable but really can show that variable but uh, because input have to be all strings so i transfer into string use the string function here okay now yeah the value is totally different you will see oh it's a little weird this is a lot of spaces why you you know connect together because we really use the string plus the string so there is no spaces it's just different from the print come on could be one space so in this situation you have to do the spaces by yourself yeah just like this part and we print it again yeah it would be beautiful right so what is zero plus four i want your answer yeah I want your answer and I want to check whether your answer is correct. 
So uh, I need you to check, right? So I want to print the result. Okay. Mm, so N1. Yeah, here we can just use the comma. Yeah, this example just show you we can use the variable directly and with the the string. Yeah, just directly use the comma. Do not have to use the plus because it's input. It is print totally different. Okay, so I want it n one plus n two and equal your answer. This is your answer, right? Your answer. Sir. Your answer, yeah, is correct or not? Because your answer is made wrong. So, uh, I will use the boolean value here. If you own one plus n two, double equal equation sign here, double equal sign here, really equal your answer. Answer. Then this is a boolean expression, so it will have the true or false. If your answer is correct, then it will be true. If your answer is not correct, it will be false. So I strongly use the boolean value to show here. So this part just will have true or false. These two kind of result. Let's go. Yeah, I put the correct result here. Then we'll, he will tell me it's true, and not. I will use another answer and I on purpose, yeah, press the wrong number and the result will be false. Who determine it? I use the Boolean expression. So you will directly to determine whether the answer is correct or not. It will reflect as a true or false. Now it's your time. 